Well, guys, we know, we know that Henry Kissinger has just been waiting for something like this to happen, right? With the My Sharona that's going around right now, the father of the New World Order himself, Mr. Kissinger, is, well, at it once again. And he's got some thoughts on the My Sharona. I'm going to share that with you guys here really quick. Do me a huge favor if you can. Give this video a like. Share the video across all your platforms. Subscribe if you're brand new because you are going to love my channel and my content. I know you will. And if you guys do, in fact, enjoy these videos that I bring to you on a daily basis, would you consider sponsoring the channel here over on Patreon for $5 a month or more? You could do so by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. You could check the pretty link. It's for you right down there in the description of this video. It'll take you right there. What are you going to get? You're going to get access to all my podcasts and other bonus content. It's only for my patron exclusive members only and i talk more in depth guys over there about sensitive information we do more long form stuff there too it's great stuff that i can never do here on youtube why because they hate me i'm a christian conservative content creator they're demonetizing all of my videos not getting you guys the alerts for when i post those videos it's terrible what they're doing guys look at me i'm a blind fat guy for crying out loud okay i i'm just making videos here for you guys trying to bring you guys the news of the last days the end times that we're currently in right now so thank you guys so much for all your support. It does mean a great deal. But Henry Kissinger, he's been waiting on this, guys, okay? He wrote an op-ed where he talked about the fact that nationalism, we just need to cast it to the side. Forget about it, okay? It's not going to help with solving the My Sharona because the My Sharona is everywhere in the world right now, okay? And he goes, it's just, you can't do it anymore. He says, it's time for a new global vision. He called it a global vision and a program. Now, what did he mean exactly when he said program? He didn't really elaborate too much on that, but I started thinking to myself, well, what does the Bible say that's eventually coming? Oh, that's right. There's going to be a, a one world currency, right? There's going to be something called the mark of the beast that no man would be able to buy or sell unless he has that mark. Well, how convenient would it be if they tried to implement a system like this try to tie it in to the My Sharona, okay? And say that now everybody in the world, you're not just national citizens in your own country. No, no, now you're global citizens, right? You're global citizens. So now you would have to get this chip that would also act as a, you know, a tracking device for you as well. They would be able to know exactly where you are. So if you had the My Sharona, okay, they would know where you are at all times. And then in order to go buy food at a grocery store, you would have to have that chip either in the right hand or in the forehead, just like it says in the book of Revelation, okay? I mean, and, and as far as this leader, you, then you'd have the Antichrist rises up onto the scene to be that one leader, that one world global leader that will lead the new world order. And what are they going to say, guys? They're going to say they're going to do it all in the name of safety, right? It's all going to be for the purpose of your safety. What does the Bible say when it says, when they say peace and safety, then comes sudden destruction, Okay, I'm just letting you guys know what the Bible says. I'm just throwing this out there to you guys because Kissinger's not the only one that's been calling for a new world order, okay? Bill Gates has been doing it as well. I've been reporting on this stuff for those of you that follow uh, me on a daily basis and watch my video content. Like I said, Bill Gates has been saying it. Uh, former British prime ministers have been calling for a new global world order to rise up as well. I'm telling you guys right now, they are using the situation that we are in right now. They are going to use it. They're going to take advantage of what's happening, okay? And we cannot let that happen. The Lord is not going to let anything happen before the due time. Now, we don't know when that time is, but we can see these people are trying to push it out there to us right now. We have to pray and just be in some deep prayer that Christ is going to redeem us, that he's going to forgive us, okay, that he's still going to give us a chance. I believe there's still a remnant out there, okay, that we need to get that gospel out to as many people as we possibly can and get keep guys like Kissinger and Bill Gates out of the picture. We don't need any global world order rising right now. We know what's going to happen eventually. We can't stop prophecy, but we also know that we still need to get souls saved for the kingdom of God before that day can come. Now, if you guys want to check out more information on this, I'll go ahead and put it down below in the description of this video. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.